bookmotions.com and welcome to this brand new after effects quick tip video in today's quick tip i'm going to show you guys how you can create this really cool looking kind of an ink drop or you can say ink splatter reveal kind of an effect into after effects so it's a really quick tip and really easy to create so let's get straight into the video and see how it's done all right, so first of all, let's go ahead and drag in the stuff that we need to get started with this tutorial. So we need an ink drop footage. So I'll provide a link in the description so you can go and download this footage. And there are many other footages as well. So you can download all of them and they are absolutely free. The link will be in the description to the website from where you can download this. So for this video, I'm going to use this one. Then also we need this image or a footage you can use whatever you want to but for a tutorial I'm gonna use an image on which we are gonna you know add the effect to and I'm gonna also add a texture for the background now you can use any kind of background that you want to so these are the three things that we basically need to get started so I'm just gonna drag it in After Effects there we have it then let's go ahead and create a new composition so I'm gonna set this to 1920 by 1080 make this maybe 25 frames and make this 30 seconds long which should be good enough and i'm gonna hit okay so um there we have it so let's go ahead and first of all drag in the ink drop footage so here we have it as you can see which is black and white and we are going to use this footage as a track mat for our image so I'm dragging the image below the ink drop footage and then go to the track mat option now you can see there is no track mat option right over here so you can just switch by clicking on this icon so now we have this so in the image track mat option I'm gonna set this from none to luma inverted mat and what this is gonna do is wherever the ink drop footage is black it's gonna reveal the information through that black portion and wherever it's white it's gonna delete it and we can do the exact opposite by just setting it on luma mat so in this case we need the black portion to be filled with information that is our footage so i'm gonna set this to luma inverted mat and there we have it and it's really that simple then to make it look really nice what you can do is i'm just first of all i'm just gonna set this to no track mat and to make this effect used again and again without you know doing the same stuff again and again what we can do is we can just select the image and pre-comp it so i'm just gonna call this image and i'm gonna hit ok then i'm gonna set this to luma track mat and maybe i'll just scale this bit by 105 and then add a little bit of wiggle to give a really nice look to it so i'm gonna hit p to bring down the position properties hold alt and click on the position and i'm gonna type in the wiggle expression now i'm gonna keep it really subtle so i'm gonna make it one comma six maybe and it's gonna be really subtle so if i pretty quickly preview it you can see it's really subtle animation but it looks really nice so yep then one more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a uh, optics compensation. So I'm going to go into my image composition, select my image and type in optics compensation. Just drag it onto our image and basically it's going to create a kind of a parallax effect. So I'm going to set this to reverse lens distortion and it's going to basically distort it. But it's going to look kind of in parallax as you can see our image gets distorted. So I'm going to set this to somewhere around let's say 75 at the very beginning create a keyframe by hitting on the stopwatch go to maybe around let's say eight seconds and set this to zero so now we have a little bit of optics compensation that is the distortion going on right over here instead of keeping it really flat it makes it look really nice as you can see And then we can go ahead and add a background. So I'm gonna drag in my paper texture like so. And there we have it. So it's really simple and easy to create.
really helpful. So I hope this quick tip was helpful to you guys and if it was, don't forget to subscribe, comment and like and I'll see you in my next video. Till then, take care and thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to stay raw, stay creative.